a local nonprofit that works to transform the lives of families experiencing homelessness, has a new leader. This week, Family Promise of West Michigan appointed a new CEO. Tanisa Fry joins us now in studio live tonight. Tanisa, thanks for coming in. No problem. Glad to be here. You're a Flint native, a GVSU grad. You work for Farmers Insurance in the corporate world. Now you're transitioning to the nonprofit. Tell us about Family Promise and what is it about this organization that attracts you? Yes, yeah, so I, I learned about Family Promise in the corporate world. Um, they were one of our community partnerships. And as soon as I heard the mission about ending homelessness, I, I wanted to be a part of it. And, and I figured if I could be a part of it early on, um, it, I'd be doing a great deed. Um, just from my background and having some exposure with homelessness and seeing that and being able to give back to the community, I was just very excited to be connected with this mission. So. Your organization deals with homelessness, uh, a particular type of homelessness, right? We're talking about families that may be experiencing it for the first time. Talk right. about some of the challenges involved there. Yes, so with Family Promise, we are focusing on ending homelessness one family at a time and with a focus on children and families. Um, we're looking to prevent the allow preventive services so that they don't end up in that situation. Um, they're the causes around affordable housing not being there. There's some causes centered around what if family breaks up and a guardian leaves, so does the income. And so it puts families in a strenuous situation and we're there to help them along the way, to give them those preventive services, to create a sustainability plan so they don't end up in that situation again. And all of that is centered around compassion and hope and hospitality. So badly needed, obviously. Yes. Talk a little bit about, I guess, what is it that Family Promise needs? What do you see as some of the big hurdles out there? Is it money? Is it housing stock? Is it awareness? Right. It's all three. I would say all three. The awareness piece is huge. I didn't know about Family Promise until seven years ago. It's this, I feel like, this gem in the community that's doing great things that people don't know about. And so being able to get connected to the mission in relations to don donating, yes, there, we definitely need money, need new donors, because housing is expensive. And then there's that affordable housing piece, um, making sure we're doing what we need to do systemically with policies and, and, and different things in that area to create affordable housing for people. Because these families, they're working families a lot of times. Mm -hmm. They have jobs, but you know, if they're in a situation where their rent is increased or tripled, then they're in a situation where now, you know, is housing really affordable? I know if someone came to me today and said, you know, your mortgage is now going to be triple, I'd probably have second thoughts too. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution to this problem, right. that's for sure. Right. Tanisa Fry with Family Promise, thanks for coming in tonight. Congratulations on me. your appointment. We look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Thank you.